Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm filming on the work camera quickly because I'm on my lunch, um, as I said last week. And I'm quickly filming a what's in my bag video. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna make this quick because I've got to get back to work soon. This is my new bag. It's a bag from Miltech. I will leave a link to this in the description. It's from Epic Militaria where I work. And it's just a great bag. It's got loads of pockets. It's got space for everything. It's a Molly bag. So there's like loads of attachments for it. Hence all of these all of these loops all over the bag, so it's really helpful for... Well, it's helpful for there's a bag, basically. Um, so what I've done, uh, I'm gonna start with the outside of the bag. I've got my tripod, which is clipped on here, and I've got like bobby pins just holding all of the... Um, all of like, the, the loose bits of the strap together, with my tripod there. And I've recently purchased one of these. In fact, we'll start with this. This is the Manfrotto Compact Advanced Tripod. Uh, it has my old Instagram sticker on just here and a bit of gaffer tape on that leg because I'm decorative. Um, it was a 70 pound tripod. I'll leave a link to the description. I'll leave a link in the description for where I got this from. Uh, it's a great tripod. It's fairly lightweight and I've never had an issue with it. It's got a dual axis I think, I think it's a dual axis. I'll take this off quickly. Uh, it stands at about just over six foot tall, I think. It's taller than me and I'm nearly six foot, so. Um, it has two of these. Handles. Oh, I'm not a pro I'm not a professional, sorry. I don't know exactly what these are called. It's got two of these handles. This one does the, the, the 180 that way, or the 360 that way, and the up and down. And this one throws it into portrait or a 45 degree for a Dutch angle, which is sometimes helpful if you want to get a different perspective on your photos or your video. So that's the tripod. Next up, I've got my Canon 700D and my kit lens. Um, I use a battery grip on my Canon 700D. Uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description. I got this from Amazon for just under 30 quid with a couple batteries. And my camera and my lens I got for 380 two years ago. I think you can pick one of these up, the Canon 700D, with a lens, without the lens hood, for about 300 now. So if you're looking at starting out in YouTube or photography, this is a great camera to start off with. Uh, it does photo video, it has a mic port, it has HDMI, it's got your AV out, and it's got a bit for a shutter switch. And yeah, it's just it's just a great camera. I'm not going to go fully into this camera. I will do that in a video at some point when I've sorted myself out a second camera. And then I'll do a full review on both of the cameras that I'll have then. So I'll save that for another time. But that's my camera. I also have this nice uh, black and red, this kind of blue and red, uh, crumpler neck strap. I'll leave a link to this in the description. It's really comfy. Far more comfortable than the Canon neck strap. And yeah, it, it's just it's a really nice, really nice one. So on the back here, um, I've got my flash, which I bought recently. It's a newer flash. I can't remember the exact model. It's it's just here. Um, but again, I'll leave a link to I'll leave a link to everything in the description below. Um, I've not worked out how to use this flash yet, but I'm looking at doing some nightclub photography at some point, or even some. Like concerts, I really want to do some concert photography or like a birthday party that's in a nightclub or something. Just stuff like that. So I bought a flash for that and I still need to learn how to use that. So that's going to be coming up soon. Uh, in the back here there is a... In the back just here there is a pouch as well. I tend to keep a notepad in there for work. And now onto the front. In this top pocket just here, now this is why the audio quality is not too good, I keep my microphone, a portable charger, my wire, which I had to buy a new wire for my microphone because there were some audio issues uh, last week. I'll insert a clip from that right now. Just a quick warning for any headphone users, you are going to want to take your headphones off or turn your volume down now. Hey guys, what's up? So today, I wasn't actually going to film work this week, but um, I figured I would because I wanted to issues with Yeah, so when I said audio issues, I meant audio issues. But as for the audio in the Q&A the other week, no idea what's going on with that audio. And then finally, I've got my Manfrotto quick release plate, and I've got a couple of stones in there that I picked up off of the river the other day. 
on my way home from work because I like stones. And then there's another pocket just here, which if I open that up, I keep my photography and exploring notepad, four spare batteries in a Neva pouch. This book right here, which I post on my Instagram story every single day. It's, uh, you'd better make some noise, it's a quote book, and right there, we are the change we seek. That is my favourite quote in the whole book, and that was bookmarked from yesterday's Instagram story. Besides that in here, I keep my portable hard drive, and the wire for it, and my SD card to USB adapter, just in case I don't have one in the computer. And then in this big middle pocket just here, is where all of the fun stuff is. Uh, I recently bought some of these lens pouches, again, link in the description. Sorry I'm going so fast, I'm just trying to get this done in one take. This is my 75 to 300 millimeter Canon lens. Uh, it's an EF lens, I use this for a lot of my street photography now. I never used to use it, I've had this lens for six or seven months and I never really used it until recently. But this is what I use for a lot of my street photography and my portraits now because uh, although it's only uh, F4 to F4.5 uh, to F5.6. Um, when you zoom in, I find it gets a really nice bokeh in the background and really brings out uh, the subjects in photos, such as this one. Next up is my vlogging tripod. This is the Manfrotto Pixie with a Manfrotto quick release plate, so it has the same attachment and the same plate as this tripod. And I did that purely because it was quicker and easier for me to change my camera from one to the other. Um, so that's that's my other tripod. Uh, in here is the slave for my flash, along with all of the wires for it and a softbox for the top. The slave is basically, it works as a remote so I can use it uh, on my camera to do uh, like bulb mode and stuff and take long exposure, take photos without touching my camera. Uh, and it also, if I plug it into the flash, I can have the flash set up elsewhere and it will trigger the flash. But I need to get some AAA for it, so that's currently not in use. <coughs> Let's try that again. Next up, I have my SD card case, uh, which I currently have one of Cam's SD cards in. Uh, I've not got many SD cards because I actually lost them, which is why I bought this case in the first place but I have that for all of my SD cards. I have some spare lens pouches in here and I believe there's another there's another portable charger in here as well which is just knocking about. So I've got another portable charger for my phone in there and more of these lens cases. I have a UV filter and a, a circular polarizer filter which is for getting rid of glare off of like water and that and the UV filter I find it just it's an extra bit of protection on the lens it doesn't really do much now because I don't shoot film and the final piece of camera equipment in my bag is my cleaning kit it is a Movo cleaning kit it was 30 pounds on Amazon and it is great I've actually got two cleaning kits in here so I've got my lens pens um, APS-C sensor swabs microfiber cloths what every photographer needs a rocket blower and I also have some lens cleaning fluid and some sensor cleaning fluid. That's the only one that came with this pack. I bought a £10 pack before, but I broke the rocket blower. So I just bought a new pack. And finally, in this back pocket, which does open all the way up, I've got some food and my phone charger. So that is what's in my camera bag. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And as I've recorded some of them to break, I am going to go and get back to work after I've tidied this up. So thank you guys, stay tuned for next week, and yeah, stay tuned for next week and I'll see you next week. That really doesn't flow. I mean it flows, but I don't know. I've got to, I've got to put all of this away now. So uh, thank you for watching guys. Like, subscribe, all that uh, that I've just said. and. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you next week. Peace.
need that to get back to work. I need that to get back to work. All these can go in the front. Just watch me pack my bag back up. Fair play. I wouldn't want to watch that. If you skipped it, then uh, also fair play. That's what I would have done. I would have skipped someone just putting stuff back into a bag as well. But uh, yeah, if you're wondering why I got the red bag and you're still here, I got it so that if I'm out doing photos with friends and I get lost in a crowd, well, not I get lost in a crowd, they lose me in a crowd the bag, you can spot it. I mean, I know I'm wearing yellow right now, so it'd be easy to spot anyway, but bright red bag, easy to spot in a crowd. Someone ever steals it. Have you seen the person with the red bag? You know, it's, you can't miss it. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you next week.